All right, guys. On your far right, Matt Hampshire. In the middle, Brian Colavita. Coach on the left. Fire away. Uh, coach, can you talk a little bit about the offensive approach? Five attempted passes. Uh, <laughs> Over 300 rushing yards, I think, or almost 300. Uh, 281. Uh, yeah, I mean, we, we, we had plans to throw the ball more than five times, and then, uh, you know, the, the wind kicked up a little bit, and so that became a little bit of a concern. We were running the ball well, so. But obviously, long term, you know, we're going to have to throw the ball more efficiently than, you know, what we demonstrated today, or certainly have more attempts than what we demonstrated today, so. Uh, but I thought we were moving the ball well. <clears throat> Part of the game plan was to try to keep possession, you know, try to keep the ball away from that offense, you know, that scored 40 plus points the last two weeks. You know, so I thought, you know, the time of possession stuff, and especially when you're going into the wind, you know, I thought being able to chew down the clock in that first and third quarter when we were going into the wind was critical for us. And we're just very fortunate we got a very solid day running the football with a lot of kids. You know, headed up by Brandon and Billy, and uh, you know we were able to run the offense and able to score some points and play good enough defense. Coach, can you talk about your defense, especially in the first half? Mm -hmm. I mean, you guys had a, a fumble that gave them the ball on the 30-yard line, right. and then you also had that you went for the uh, fake punt and they got the ball at the 40. Yeah, but your defense. Uh, yeah, they, they've been coming up big the whole year. I mean, not only did that, but they they also forced a fumble and picked it up and scored a touchdown themselves. So. Mm -hmm. You know, they've, they've, they've been very solid the whole year. Um, and from the perspective of being able to take chances, <clears throat> you know, like the fake punt and a couple of those things, you know, we feel confident that if it's a high percentage play, we'll do it, knowing that if it doesn't work, we've got a pretty good defense in there and, you know, maybe they can shut the door. But you want to go into these games and you don't want to be overly conservative. You know, that's what we were trying not to do. So I don't think either side was overly conservative in terms of, trying some things, onside kicks, fake punts, that kind of stuff. So recognizing it's a big game, you know, and you know, trying to win it. Also, I understand, like, when you, when you take these games, you take them game by game. Mm -hmm. But right now, you guys are very successful in the league. I mean, yeah. this was your 10th consecutive victory. Um, can you talk about what has been the big difference? I mean, well, I mean, our, our kids get, <laughs> you know, certainly readier to play in league play. Mm -hmm. And I think they understand the significance of league play as opposed to non-league play. And early on, uh, we, we benefit from playing a pretty hard non-league schedule. You know, so early on, we played Villanova, and we kind of know right from the get-go. In this case, it was week two. It's what we can and can't do. And if we can run the ball effectively against Villanova, if we can defend Villanova effectively, then we know that <clears throat> pretty much everybody we're going to see in our league. You know, that's going to be something that we're going to be effective with. So it's a great barometer for us, uh, but our kids, you know, they, they tend to play well in league games. They understand the significance of league play, and they're playing with some confidence right now, and they're playing with a little bit of swagger, which is which is what you want to see. Brandon, can you just talk a little bit about what it's like running against a defense that knows you're coming at them and knows, or I mean, can reasonably <coughs> – expect that you guys are going to run the ball on a pretty consistent basis. Um, you know, is that a different look than the defense that is a little more off guard? Were they, were they ready for you, or how did you, how did you see that? Well, I mean, all throughout the week, I mean, we're playing against a great defense in, in our own, and uh, it really prepares us every weekend. But for this week, I mean, when you have a line that can open up holes like that, that can control the line of scrimmage, I mean, no matter how many guys you put in the box, it's hard to stop it. So we, at all, all of us backs, put a lot on the line, and they got it done today. So, Matt, you uh, got two sacks today. Can you talk a little bit about how you were able to get in there? Uh, and also, just in general, like you guys put them for over 50 yards uh, in losses and rushing. Can you talk about that? Uh, yeah. Um, what all, it always helps having a great defensive line. And, uh, and we definitely have three guys up front that that really uh, uh, take control of the game. And uh, especially when you have a defensive unit like we do, um, I'm sure it's not easy for opposing offenses to, to pick up our, our uh, blitzes. So, um, I mean, really, I, I was just doing my assignment. And, uh, and the other 10 guys on the team were doing theirs, obviously. So I uh, opened it right up and helped out. So.
Coach Magnoli, last week you were pretty upset about the first half performance. What were your thoughts on the first half? Oh, we, we prepared much better during the week, and we were much more ready to play. And, you know, that was pretty evident. And, you know, the much energy we showed out there. You know, so that was good to see. You know, that Bucknell was really one of those classic trap games coming off of old T at Dartmouth. Got Columbia on the horizon. Bucknell is 0-4 at the time. You're playing away. There's not very many people in the stands. It's not a great locker room setup. There's a lot of reasons that you can look into it that you worry. And uh, it was not our greatest first half last week. But I think the kids came back and they played pretty hard. We weren't always pretty today. We weren't always as efficient as I'd like to see us. But they played pretty hard for 60 minutes, pretty physical for 60 minutes, which was great. Uh, Coach, it looked like Billy might have done something to his foot. He was looking on the field a little bit. He, uh, he rolled his ankle a little bit. I mean, I, I don't know to what extent. I don't think it's anything serious. I saw him right at the end, and he was coming out of the trainer, so it didn't seem to be anything crazy, but he rolled it a little bit. Anything else? Okay. Thank you.